Hello everybody. How you doing? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my channel. Signs of narcissistic friends. What do toxic narcissist friends say and do? That is the title of this video. Well, toxic narcissistic friends want constant adoration, constant praise. They want attention. They want to be on the limelight. They prioritize their own needs. Toxic narcissistic friends lack empathy. And they have high expectations of their friends. And a toxic narcissistic friend will end that relationship, that friendship that you have when that relation, that friendship does not, not serve them anymore. So, it's very easy to find yourself becoming friends very fast with the narcissist. Because in the beginning, a narcissistic toxic friend is very supportive. They are very thoughtful. They are very, they appear to be very engaged, you know, at the beginning of that friendship. They may go to any, uh, any they'll, they'll do anything beyond your expectations, you know, as a friend. Just to please you. But if this friend, because this friend is a narcissist, after some time, they can't pretend anymore. They become very selfish, egotistic, egocentric. They become very unsupportive. They become, they dis, they become very dismissive, unreasonable, and even aggressive, and of course manipulative. So that is what friends who are narcissists are. They will still follow the same pattern of love bombing, they, whereby they appear to be so uh, good friends for you, they appear to be there for you, you know, uh, helpful, assisting you, and there, then they start looking down upon you, that is, they start devaluing you, then they start discarding you, you know, they do away with you and they no longer, they realize that friendship no longer serves them. So, uh, what are these signs of a toxic narcissist friend? Number one, they want constant praise and admiration from you. You see, uh, one thing with all narcissists is that they don't know how to self-validate. They can't find internal self-worth because there are empty shells inside them. They have very low self-esteem inside them. They, so they want validation and admiration from you and they expect it from you and they demand that praise and admiration and admiration to fuel, to increase their self-esteem because they don't have it. They can't self-validate. That's why they'll want you to, you know, keep liking their Facebook posts, their Instagram posts, you know, giving them compliments. They'll, keep, they'll want you to keep promising them. I mean, to keep uh, praising them. Telling them how amazing they are, how good they are, how intelligent they are. So, number two way of identifying a narcissist is because they put their own needs first. They are very selfish. It is all about them. They are, they, because they believe they're better than others. They think they're superior than you and everybody else. They want to, you know, they lack empathy for, for, for even their friends' needs. To them, it's about them. That's why the narcissist will always let you down. And they don't even apologize. They, you may decide to meet and they cancel the meeting without even apologizing. So, uh, another sign of a narcissistic friend or toxic friend is uh, the conversations are just uh, on the surface level. Because uh, the narcissist hate intimacy. So they share information about themselves with others when that information is self-promoting. They will brag about their accomplishments. They will exaggerate their accomplishments. Of course, they lie to you. They want that to be praised, to be seen as special. They will tell you, they will give you information if they know you will help them in gaining something. So, narcissists will not want to share anything that is very personal or vulnerable with you. That is what toxic narcissist friends are. They will not even ask any questions about you. 
um, especially if they know that question will make them open up and become vulnerable vulnerable but they may still ask questions from uh, from you if they want to use those to use that against you in future so um, narcissists avoid interactions in short whereby vulnerability is expected from them so the other thing about toxic narcissist friends is that they will not be there for you when you really need them they will let you down these are selfish people who only think about themselves they will uh, not be there for you they will avoid emotional conversations and this way they will let you down because probably you need to talk with them about something very emotional they will not show up when you you are going through the most difficult time of your life through hard times they will not be there for you and again another with a narcissist a toxic narcissist friend is that once they realize you are struggling with something in your life they'll start bad mouthing you they'll talk negatively about you to everybody else they'll go on a smear campaign about you they'll tell people how useless how worthless you are and they will tell them using the same secrets you told them you shared with them how you're struggling but they will bad mouth you they'll tell they'll expose your weaknesses to everyone they'll even call your enemies and tell them what you said about them that's how dangerous these toxic narcissistic friends can be so now narcissists they will be entitled to time with you a narcissist expects to get whatever they want from you they believe it it belongs to them they deserve of it they demand to spend time with you and if you don't they will get angry you know they'll go on a narcissistic rage they will even accuse you of not being a good friend to them they even threaten you that they look for some better friends they might even go on a silent treatment on you you see because they believe that if they want to spend time with you you must be there they feel entitled to time with you that is very unfair they don't care about your other needs it's, for them it's about them if you're not available then they are angry with you and they'll sh start showing you that they are, that they are they have better friends than you they will even go silent on you they'll treat you they'll they'll go they'll they'll do narcissist they'll do um silent treatment treatment on you to punish you to teach you a lesson to manipulate you so they'll put you down narcissistic friends because they want constant attention from you so they will ignore your strengths they will ignore your successes they will show you that that's nothing instead of talk, instead of acknowledging your strengths and successes the narcissistic friend will want to show you that they are the ones who are successful they are the, they will show you their their strengths if you tell the narcissist that you got a good thing a good job a good uh, spouse you know built a good uh, bought a house bought a car they will, might stop that con con conversation and they might change that conversation they will want to take the limelight they'll the spotlight they'll start talking about something else about themselves in, uh, to be specific because they are jealous people and they are very insecure so they'll shift that to talk about themselves and of course toxic narcissistic friends are have these unreasonable expectations they will want you to for instance to, to go with them for, on a vacation well clearly they know you have a partner who needs time with you they'll want you to go see them uh, maybe at the weird hours of the night and maybe they know you you are engaged elsewhere they'll demand you know things that are very unreasonable and when you say no they get angry with you they may they might even go silent on you they'll say you are not a good friend toxic narcissist friends are not remorseful they will keep hurting you because that's what narcissists no normally do they hurt people they'll only apologize when they know that will help them 
get their needs. Maybe they need something from you. They need a help from you. So they'll pretend to apologize. It's a fake sorry. It's a fake apology. Just to use you, misuse you to get what they want. The other thing about toxic narcissist friends is that they struggle to forgive. Narcissists find it very difficult to apologize, to say sorry. But they also find it very difficult to forgive. Because these are, they have this sense of entitlement. And this makes them believe that they're special. They, want, they deserve special treatment. And that they're unique. They're better than you and everybody else. That's why these people find it very difficult to apologize and even to forgive. So, toxic narcissist friends always use and exploit others. They look at people as objects in their lives who are there to meet their needs. They may use you and misuse you to get your connections. You know, use your connection. Maybe you have money, a lot of resources. So, they'll be friends with you to get that. They may use whatever secrets they have against you, you know, like threaten you, blackmail you, that if you don't help them, you know, they might mess you up. And again, toxic narcissist friends are very jealous and envious of you and your other relationships. A toxic narcissist friend doesn't want you to have other relationships. They are jealous. Because they want all attention to be on them. They need constant approval and validation. And they don't want your attention to be on some other relationships. They demand, your, you, demand you to spend all your time with them. They don't want you to spend more time with your other relationships. So they will do everything they can to make you, uh, to destroy your friendships, to destroy your other relationships. Even your love life, they will want to destroy that relationship with your spouse so that you can have time for them. That's how toxic narcissistic friends do. If you have a friend who's a toxic narcissist, who is a narcissist, normally they'll 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 mess your marriage, they'll mess your your you know your your relationship with your sweetheart. Because they are envious, they're jealous of that relationship. They want you to spend time with them. They want your attention to be on the friendship and not your love relationship. So they'll do everything they can to get you giving them the attention they need. They'll do everything. They'll lie. They'll go on a smear campaign. They'll witch hunt your partner and tell false stories about them. No, they'll not support your relationship. They will be always there trying to destroy it. When you don't give the narcissistic friend the attention, the admiration, the, the validation, the praise they need, then they think you're criticizing them. They think you're disrespecting them. They think you're gossiping them. You're, 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 you know. So they will start smearing your name. They'll gossip you too. They'll gaslight you. They'll spread lies, slander your name to others. So they do this to protect themselves and to increase their grandiose views of themselves. So, with a toxic narcissistic friend, you'll be drained when you spend time with them. They're so draining. They're toxic, in short. A toxic narcissist friend will end that relationship, that friendship when it is no longer serving them. That is what all narcissistic friends do. They realize they're not getting what they need from that friendship, then it's, it's done. They stop it. They end it. Because what they want is validation from you. They want attention. They want resources from you. So they will want to choose another uh, better friend to them than you who will give them more validation. Who will give them the resources they need more than you. So they will want to seek out better friends, in short. That is what toxic narcissist friends do. Because friends who are valuable to them make them feel that they've attained a bigger status. So that is 
how to know if you have a narcissistic toxic friend in your life thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel if you've not done so right share this video widely to all those who may need it to all those who have toxic friends narcissistic friends and they want help they don't know if they have those kind of friends please share this video with them knowledge is power information is power and learning is the superpower i love you all to the moon and back god bless you catch you later in the next video